That's the old passage to Ravenholm. We don't go there anymore. Flames here, and we're back for another creepy review video. It's been a while since I made one, but here we are. This will be about Half-Life 2 of a location that we used to go back to, or rather, that we shouldn't go back to. Ravenholm. Ravenholm is a former mining town and later a resistance stronghold located in the wasteland. It was briefly inhabited by refugees who escaped from the Combined Control City 17 to join the resistance, but is largely deserted and infested with zombies and headcrabs by the time Gordon Freeman passes through. The town of Ravenholm mainly consists of small to medium sized houses that are mostly traditionally built, being made for concrete, brick, and wood. Several high-rise apartment buildings can also be seen in some sections of the town as the area near the coastline and the area near the room with December zombies inside. These buildings along with streets appear in an Eastern European style, complying with the style of buildings seen throughout Half-Life 2. The town remained hidden from the Combine for some time. However, it was eventually discovered and attacked by, with a massive bombardment of headcrab shells, slaughtering the town's inhabitants by turning them into zombies. The massacre resulted in halation of the settlement and it was consequently abandoned, as it was linked to the Black Mesa East via a tunnel. The entrance to the town was sealed shortly after bombardment using a makeshift barricade and stolen sentry guns to prevent zombies and headcrabs from reaching the facility. Later, Gordon is forced to escape through the town when Overwatch forces raid Black Mesa East. During the chapter, we don't go to Ravenholm. Many areas of the town are littered with propane cylinders barrels of flammable materials and booby traps, which have been laid by a lone survivor, Father Gregory. The entire town is also littered with dead refugees and standard zombies that have been hanged, burned and sliced by Gregory's traps, or killed by the surviving refugees of the town. Due to the relative lack of ammunition in the area, Gordon must rely on Gregory's traps and the gravity gun, from which he could launch blades, burials, and other props to use a projectiles to kill the zombies. In addition to the traps, other structures such as makeshift wood and barricades can be seen around their even home, possibly to limit herds' movement or kill them more eventually. The traps were engineered so that zombies could easily stumble into them and could be easily avoided by normal humans. After being separated from Alex during the Combine's raid on Black Mesa East, Gordon Freeman is forced to travel through Ravenholm, armed with his newly acquired gravity gun and an assortment of weapons. Gordon traverses the desolate zombie and headcrab infested town, all the while untiralizing bizarre traps while fighting off hordes of zombies and headcrabs. Gordon meets the last known human occupant of Ravenholm, Father Gregory. 
Gregory provides some assistance and advice to Gordon, such as arming him with shotgun and eventually leading him to abandon mine to escape the town. Farewell, brother! I fear I deliver you to a darker place. May the light of lights illuminate your path. Look to your own <laughs> salvation. <laughs> Ravenholm would used to be a town with mining facility with many citizens around, until even after the event of Half-Life. Things changed after that when the Combine began to invade the whole planet, and mostly after citizens being used as slaves or whatnot to City 17 or other places. There are a little bit of resistance around the area and even around the mining facility. Combine just sent headcrabs down to the place to infect the whole entire place and kill many lives who were meant to escape. Gregory is the only survivor left, only if around the ambience if you could easily hear screams around the distance if there could be a little bit few resistance around the area or any survivors. It's kind of terrifying of this one mission or chapter of the series, which to believe that Ravenholm is the mostly the most creepiest chapter in Half-Life history. Besides, that's the only thing why it's creepy. And that's why you shouldn't go to Ravenholm, folks. You shouldn't. Only if you're brave enough to go. That's all I got for this, folks. I hope you enjoy it. If you want me to review another one for this creepy review, please leave your comments down below and ask for more. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Or rather, put the notification bell on in case you're up for another video. This is the Lord of Flames here. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, folks. Have a wonderful day.